Let's build a smart trading bot that just uses the RSI indicator. What's up guys, this is Jacob Amro. I build and code trading systems for a living on the futures market. And in today's video, we're gonna be building a simple RSI strategy, all right? RSI stands for Relative Strength Index, and it's one of the most common indicators that traders and algo traders use to build trading systems. Now, not every trading system may have RSI, probably only a small percentage of them do, but it is a very common indicator. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to build a very simple RSI trading bot strategy. So on my screen here, I have a trading system that I built today. It uses the RSI indicator. Uh, we're gonna be going over the code, how the code works, uh, as well as uh, how the strategy works and why I like it and why I'm gonna be trading it. So RSI is just a way of measuring price action and momentum in a instrument. Um, it is not predictive, it is lagging but you can build good trading systems around it uh, using best practices, okay? So here's our trading system here with the RSI indicator att uh, attached. Uh, we can see the performance of the trading system over the last two years, including slippage and commissions. Uh, it makes 19,000 per E-mini. This is trading ES futures, so S&P 500 futures. Um, has a max drawdown of 4,321, all right? We're gonna go over the code and I'm gonna talk about how I built it and why I like it and also give you access to the code as well. So here is the code for the, no, that's not the code. Here it is. All right, so the strategy that we have here is called RSI mean reversion. And it's a very simple strategy, which I wanted to showcase in today's video on how simple strategies can be uh, successful. Um, and not have you know too many conflicting signals with a trading system. So let's go over the code. This is NinjaTrader code. So I run my trading systems and I have my brokerage account with NinjaTrader um, and it is a platform for building automated trading systems. It makes it very easy and I highly, highly recommend it for any quantitative traders out there. Um, of course, you can build your own you know platform and framework if you want to, but it's a lot of work and it's much easier to use an existing platform and focus on building trading systems and portfolios. So let's go over the signals here. So it has a profit target of 60 ticks, a stop loss of 30 ticks, and it will actually sell after 20 bars as well if it's in profit. And I'll explain those uh, when I show you uh, how I built it. Here's the source code for the entry. So we have uh, basically for the long trade, if the RSI one bar ago is greater than 80, and the RSI, the current RSI is less than 80. So basically if it's crossing uh, below 80 and the wave trend indicator is greater than 70. I'll also be sharing that wave trend indicator. That's uh, a free indicator uh, that anyone can use in IntraTrader. Is above 70, we're gonna enter long, so we're gonna enter a buy position. Right, we're gonna bet that the instrument's gonna go up. Uh, and then we also have a short signal where if the RSI is basically crossing above 20, we're gonna be entering short, okay? So it's slightly mean reverting on the fact that if RSI is crossing above 20, it's starting to rise a little bit, uh, and we're actually gonna enter short. And same thing for the the long, although it is 80, which is a high RSI, which means you know the price action has uh, been going up over time. It's waiting for that cross below to kind of rebuy, and also comparing, um, also using the wave trend indicator with it. So Jacob, how the heck did you build this? Like, you know, how, how did you find all these signals, and, and like, how, how, how'd you do it, right? So let's talk about it. So. I built a application in NinjaTrader called Strachan that helps me find strategy ideas, okay? So uh, on the right here, I, I have Strachan, um, and what I did was I plugged in just the RSI indicators into my signals, and I told NinjaTrader, hey, try every single RSI option out there and give me the best results with different profit targets and stop losses. So I, I plugged that in, we can see here on the right uh, in add signal, if I expand it, you can see a lot of these check boxes are unchecked, but then we have a bunch of RSI signals, right? Cross above, cross above, cross above. So I just forced it to use RSI uh, to kind of you know narrow it down on RSI uh, indicator, uh, you know, for the simple simplicity of this video. So I forced it to do that, and then I tested it on 2023. Okay, so 2023 was my in sample year. It was my year of finding the idea, and I did a short side, uh, which you can see here on the screen. These profits, uh, you know, net profit of 9,611, 5,615 um, are all different uh, strategies. And um, I also did the long side, which is in this tab here. So I had a short side and a long side. 
Um, the long side actually took me longer to find signal ideas. And then what I did was I combined them into one strategy, uh, which we get here, okay? Uh, now, I uh, anyone, if you wanna get access to StratGen or use it, you can see the links in the description below. And the reason why I built StratGen was, you know, I was coding strategies from scratch every single time, and it was getting very time consuming. And I wanted to test more rapidly and have more ideas for trading systems. Uh, so that's why I built StratGen. Um, so it's a very useful tool uh, for me and others as well. And it's something that, uh, you know, I use on a daily basis to find new trading systems, okay? Now, so what I did was I, I used StratGen to find those strategies in the year of 2023. But what I also did was did an out of sample test. So any of my trading systems, I always wanna test out of sample. So let me take a, let's do a little drawing here. A little drawing lesson with Jacob. This is, this is the first. So we developed the strategy, right? Let's find, uh, let's do color wise. Where's the color tool? It's right here. Okay. So we developed the strategy in 2023. So if I go to 2023, it was probably, I don't know, maybe here. That's way too, let's make that thicker. Uh, brush size. Okay. So I developed the strategy probably right here. And then um, stopped it there. Okay, so any data in between these dates was available for the idea for the best RSI, you know, tried ES, you know, five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute, profit target, 100 tick, 200 tick. Uh, stop loss, 50 tick, 100 tick, uh, RSI cross above 20, 30, cross below, yada, yada, yada. So that was, you know, the sample period that I could find the strategy. And then what I did was after we developed the strategy, right? So after we got the list here, you know, all these ideas, then I would actually then test them in 2022 to 2023 and see if the net profit was higher. Basically see if it could make more money with new data. So let's change this color here, we'll go orange. So any data here was kind of new, right? And we can see that, you know, this long short system also made money in that year. Also, I tested this year too, all that data was new and it's continued to make money as well, which is incredible. So that's what you wanna see. You wanna see, um, you know, trading systems be robust in different market regimes and without a sample data. So I actually tested probably, uh, I would say 11 different signals before I found uh, a long and short that actually were able to perform uh, with new out of sample data. And that's very important because if you just optimize for a year and, and basically when stretch and find signals, it's optimizing um, and you run your, your, your strategy tomorrow, you just have a, a higher uh, percentage chance of failure that's not gonna do well. So by giving out of sample data, you're allowing to test your strategies to be more robust, I should say. So if those two periods made more money, including the in-sample period, then it's a trading system I'm interested in. Also, there's some final checks that I like to make too, like uh, for example, you know, it's biggest losing day. Um, also, you know, obviously a, a code check, making sure the code's all right and it's tested and works well. So for example, the biggest losing day of this strategy is $783 per e-mini. Now it depends on, on what you're trading in your capital. Um, and of course you would test this with a portfolio, which I'll be doing a separate video on as well. But um, this is important to me too, because there's you know a threshold I can usually hit for a trade system to lose in a day. And usually it's around $3,000 per e-mini contract. Now, a lot of you watching may not know that or may not know what your threshold is. And that kind of goes over, it takes time to kind of feel for, but an individual trading system, I don't want something losing more than $3,000 per e-mini personally. So I'm glad that it passes that uh, as well. And of course, this trading system includes commissions um, and slippage as well. So that's important to uh, including your testing. For S&P 500 E-mini, you usually only need one tick of slippage, but for some other instruments like oil futures, CL, or gold futures, GC, you might wanna use three to four ticks. Uh, they're a bit less liquid. So the next step I would do is trade the system in SIM or a demo account or a paper account, whatever you wanna call it, for about 30 days. And if it makes money over those 30 days or thereafter, 
I will start trading it live. Just as I talked about in my last video about my pattern trading system, this is my methodology for running trading systems. So uh, that's the video guys. If you wanna get access to this trading system, it's gonna be in the link below. You can get it for free. Um, and it only works on the Ninja Trader platform. I shouldn't say only. You could convert the code to other platforms if you are an experienced developer or know of someone. Uh, but once again, I do use the Ninja Trader platform, so any content and code I produce will be in that pl platform. So anyways, I hope you guys found value in these videos and these strategy ideas videos. Let me know if you wanna try some other indicators like maybe a MACD system or a BWAP system. Let me know in the comments below and maybe we can build those in the future and share those. So have a good week, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.